Okay. Good morning, everyone. So, uh, just getting this out of the box. So today we're going to be looking at the uh, ProTech RC <coughs> charger. Okay. This is the uh, 610 Easy Prodigy. So here is the power adapter. Put that in here, and I'm just going to plug it in right now. Okay. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> every time you plug this in, it's always going to say never leave the unit while in use. Read manuals. Just click the start button. Okay. And uh, so, yeah. So bottom line is anytime you're charging batteries, always like keep an eye on them. Never leave. Um, and when you're charging LiPo batteries, which I'll talk about here in a second. All right. This is a LiPo battery, L-I-P-O, LiPo battery. It's got these two little connectors here. These you want to use a LiPo bag, and I will uh, grab one and show you, okay? So first I'm going to show you how to charge nickel metahydrate, okay? N-I-M-H. So go ahead and grab this that's in the box. It's got a what they call either a T or a Dean's connector. We're going to plug it in on the side here. Okay, and then you'll notice that these are always the female adapters, and these are the males, okay? So you're going to plug it in like this, okay? And what you want to do is, I'll get this closer, so we got the battery plugged in, is we got to change this to light, uh, nickel metal hydrate. So you want to click the stop button, okay, <clears throat> until it reads nickel metal hydrate. Go ahead and hit the start button. And now what you want to do is change the current. And what you need to do is you got to look at the battery. So look at where it says, it says 4,200 milliamp hour. So we're going to change the amperage to 4.2, which is 4.2 amp hours. Okay. So this is the plus button here, right here. So just going to increase, oops, sorry. Uh, click the start button. And then this just will start flashing. Okay. Now we can increase this to 4.2. So if you hold it, it'll increase faster, okay? So go to 4.2, hit the start, and now it's not flashing, hold the start button, okay? And now it's charging, all right? So it'll charge, it'll stop. Typically when you charge them like this, it probably will take about an hour to charge, okay? And, uh, you hear, you hear like a little beep that goes off that says it's charged. If you want to stop the charging, just go ahead and click stop, and then it stops. Okay. So, and <clears throat> there are times where the battery may get a little warm after charging. Um, that's kind of normal. Let it cool before you use it in your RC car. Um, usually nickel metal hydrates may get a little warm where they charge. Lipos, though, these type of batteries, lithium polymers, they shouldn't really get hot when they charge. They may get hot after you use them in the car, but that means you're just using them. You need a, you need to change the battery. You get a bigger battery, okay? You're, you're sucking all that juice out of that battery, and it's not good for the batteries to get super hot after RC uh, driving. So um, <clears throat> that'll be a completely different discussion, completely different video. But this is just to show you how to use this Prodigy 610 Easy Charger. So that's how you charge a nickel metal hydrate, okay? So um, I'm going to unplug the battery. That's nickel metal hydrate. Now I'm gonna plug in the LiPo battery. And uh, if you ever buy one of these, you're gonna need this adapter, which comes in the box. This gets plugged into here, okay, like this. Plug it right in. You kind of hear the snap, the, the snap here. Then you're gonna plug the Deans in. And then this gets plugged into um, the right position, okay? So <clears throat> on here, I'll have to zoom in here. It actually says 2S, 3S, 4S, was it 5S, 6S, okay? So LiPo batteries come in those standards, like a 2S 
is uh, like 7.4 volts. 3S is 11.1. I believe a 4S is maybe 14 point something, okay? So that's just how they're characterized. So when you charge them, you have to plug them in both, okay? Uh, you have to plug in the main connector, which is this one, and this one. So go ahead and plug it into 3S because it's 11.1. And I'm gonna grab a LiPo bag, okay? These are LiPo bags. If you ever buy a LiPo battery, you want to buy something like this. And this is how you're going to charge your, your LiPo battery in. Okay. So I'm going to put it in here and uh, in a minute here. What we need to do is we need to change the battery type. So you're going to click stop. Then you're going to go to change this. Keep hitting the stop button until it says LiPo right here. Then you're going to click start. Then what you're going to do is click start again. And this is saying, okay, a 2S. Well, we have a 3S because it's 11.1. Hit the plus sign to go to 3S. Hit start. Now, we got to change the amps. This is, on this battery, it says 4200, okay? So we got to go down to 4200. Oops. Click start. And then you can change it at a different rate. We're going to, I would recommend right now just keeping at 4.2, whatever this is, it, it should change automatically. So click start. Okay, now put this in the bag. Okay. I, I sometimes put that in there and then I cover it like that. Okay. Okay, so the whole connector's inside there. Let's let's put let's put this in there if we can. Okay, there you go. So if anything happens to the lipo battery, this will contain most of the issues if it does. Um, if it does kind of expand a little bit or uh, uh, explode okay but they're pretty safe nowadays this will tell you if something is wrong okay usually it stops so now the lipo bags in here you're going to hold the start button and it's going to check and now it's going to start charging okay it's going to charge and then you'll hear a beep when it's fully done just go ahead and hit stop okay when you hear that beep. And again, it's probably gonna take you an hour. Um, typically, that's how long they take. And then you could take it out of the bag and unhook it and then plug it into your car. All right. All right, I hope this helps. And uh, if you have any questions, um, shoot it in the comment section.